snow leopards. It's Mrs. Miller. I thought I would take you into Stowers so that you know what to expect when we reopen school on Monday. Okay, let's go. Okay, if I come to school through the chute gate, this is the way I would go. And as you can see, we've got Snowy here ready to greet you. But if you get here and there's other kids that are in front of you, you can just stand on Snowy right there. But we come up to the gate and then someone here at the gate, a caring adult supervisor, is going to take your temperature. And it's going to look like this. So they're gonna come and beep, take your temperature on your forehead. And then you're gonna walk through the gate and to your class. So here we are going through the chute Looks pretty normal, like it always does. And then we're gonna turn the corner and continue on to class. Okay, so now we're turning the corner and we're continuing on through the chute, heading on to campus. Now we're gonna go through this gate like we normally would if we were coming through the chute. And here at this point, we would probably see some of our friends who are coming to school and getting dropped off by cars. So here's where the car drop off is. And as you can see, once again, if you're getting dropped off by a car, we've got Snowy here ready to greet you. And if, the, if there seems to be a lot of kids who are here to get dropped off, then you just stand on a dot and wait for once again, because coming through this gate. Okay, so here we are on campus and we're gonna walk directly to our class. Then we're gonna pass the hand washing station and the bottle filling station. And we're gonna keep going. And um, we're gonna have um, caring adults, supervisors out that'll be able to help direct us to our class if we don't know where we're going. But I'm gonna come through this gate and there's another gate just like it that you could come through if your class is over this way. And then I'm pretending I'm in Mr. Ives class. So I had one of the caring adult supervisors tell me already which direction to go. I'm not super sure which door is his, but when I get down here, I can see the door says Mr. Ives. There's a chair with Mr. Ives' name on it. So this must be Mr. Ives' classroom. So I'm gonna come in and Mr. Ives will be here. And he, maybe he told me like, this is my seat. So I'm gonna go ahead and have a seat behind the plexiglass on my desk at my assigned seat. That's what we're gonna do when we arrive at school. At lunchtime, when we go to lunch at school, when we come back for the simultaneous hybrid, we will get in the lunch line, which will be along this corridor. And you can see there's our little dots that we're supposed to stand on. And we'll continue on to this corridor all the way till we know that our lunch people have lunch ready to go right here. And don't forget, everyone gets um, a free lunch. So we would pick up our lunch and then we would go to our assigned table. And our teacher will tell us which table is ours. If we're in um, first grade, second grade, or third grade, we're gonna face the stage. So we would sit like here or maybe here. But if you're in fourth or fifth or sixth grade, you're gonna sit with your back to the stage and facing the restrooms or where we get lunch. So you would sit on this side of the bench, either here or here, or if your class is assigned lunch table over here. So that's kind of how lunch is gonna work 
fourth through sixth grade faces this way and first through third grade faces this way. And I'm gonna go over to the kindergarten tables in a little bit, but I just wanted to show you lunch. Okay, Snow Leopards, now we're gonna talk about the end of the day. So school's dismissed. I'm Remember, I'm pretending I'm in Mr. Ives' class. So Mr. Ives is gonna walk his class out to the same way we came in. So we're gonna continue out this gate and around the corner here. And if you're getting picked up by someone in a car, so your mom or your dad or grandma or grandpa or aunt and uncle or whoever is picking you up and you're getting picked up in a car, you're gonna stand on one of the dots out here by the parking lot. And you can see there's a big line of dots here and here and so on. So that we have all these dots so you can stay socially distanced while you're waiting to be picked up by a car. I'll show you in just a second where to, you're gonna wait if you're getting picked up by somebody who parks and walks up or by just by somebody who walks up. Okay. Okay, if you're getting picked up by your a parent or a guardian or someone who is walking up to the school to pick you up, you would come out here and stand on one of these socially distanced dots. dots. So all of these dots out here in front of the school, that's where you'll be standing in order to get picked up. So um, no, and moms and dads, don't forget, nobody, this is all out in front. This is all um, Stour staff parking. So you are not parking here, you're parking on the street or in the back parking lot. But um, this is where you would get picked up if you were, if someone was walking up to Stowers to get you. Okay, all kindergartners are walked up to the Beach Street gate. So kindergartners, there's lots of snowy dots for you to stand on if you have to wait to get in. But here's the gate. Once again, someone will be here and they will be here with a thermometer and they'll just aim it at your forehead, press the button, and then you'll go through the gate and you will walk right this way and we'll have some caring adult supervisors here to help guide you. But you're gonna walk this way and you're gonna go to either Mrs. Whitaker's class that's room 111. You're gonna go straight into class. So you're gonna come right in here to Mrs. Whitaker's classroom and you'll sit at the table, whichever one Mrs. Whitaker has assigned for you. So you'll go ahead and you'll pull out your chair and then you'll have a seat at your desk and Mrs. Whitaker will be right here at her desk and you'll be ready to start your day. Now, if you are in Mrs. Lopez's class, then you wouldn't have come into Mrs. Whitaker's classroom. You would have gone over one more classroom to Mrs. Lopez's class, room 112, right here and you'd come into Mrs. Lopez's class and you'd have a seat at a desk right here in Mrs. Lopez's class, whichever desk she has assigned for you. And Mrs. Lopez's desk is right there nearby. She'll be here and we're all really excited to greet you. Now, if it's lunchtime, you're gonna come out here for lunch and you'll go stand in the lunch line that I previously showed on this video. You'll go that way to go to go to the lunch line, right through that gate. And then you'll come back and sit at these tables. And we have Snowy once again waiting for you to sit on Snowy for lunchtime. Everyone sits at each end of our eight foot tables um, on one side of the table. So you'll, you and a friend will be here 
and you'll be able to enjoy your lunch here at Stowers. Now, when you leave, when it's dismissal time, you'll come out of your classroom. Mrs. Whitaker or Mrs. Lopez will walk you out and your parents will be waiting for you at the Beach Street gate. So we're just gonna walk out the same way we came in and your parents will be right here waiting for you. Okay, so that's for you, kindergartners. Okay, snow leopards, that is a little glimpse of what it's gonna be like coming back to school. And I cannot wait to see you. I'm so excited. I'm out here in front of the office. Parents, don't forget, if you need to go to the office for anything, you need an appointment. Other than that, can't wait to see you, snow leopards. Bye.